It is a crisp, brisk afternoon in my little hometown. I wasn't sure if I was going to be riding today since it was supposed to only get up to like 38 degrees, which is still riding temp, but a little too cold for me right now. i got to build up that tolerance, just like drinking. But it happened to get up to 43, so I was like, Chia, let's go riding. A little cloudy, not too bad. No wind, that's a good thing. So if you remember a video or so back, I uh, told a story of how my brother was being a little prankster and tricked me with a little ghost app on his phone. Well, I was gone over this last weekend doing a nice little drill weekend for the good old army. And like I said in my last video, every time I'm gone, my wife experiences something. So we have our foster kids. And apparently, the younger one was just chatting to himself pretty much the entire day, which isn't completely out of the norm, but it was more than normal. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. I know how much that little guy talks. Well, not only that, but I guess that night, he was talking to somebody all by himself. And... The good old wife heard like a door noise. Of course, both the boys were sleeping, but she still heard a door open. And it's winter, so we got all our windows shut, so it couldn't have been the wind. And, you know, I wasn't there to experience anything, but I also wasn't there to deny anything or try to debunk anything, so I can't speak on that aspect. And the last thing that happened to her that I know of was... I guess the younger little boy, they were sitting down eating dinner and he pointed at the ceiling and like started giggling and he, he just kept pointing at the ceiling and I guess it was, uh, that would have freaked me out to be honest. And, and like I said, I wasn't there to experience it and it's always when I'm gone that something happens. So I don't know if like the ghost world fears me in my own house, which they should, or what. I'm not exactly sure what the situation is. But, when I came home that night, our foster boys were with their biological parents doing a visit. And the wife and I were at home enjoying some dinner. And out of nowhere, we had this platter, like a turkey-shaped platter on a stand. And it just falls down. It didn't break or anything, but it like slid off the table and fell on the ground. Me being the skeptic I am was just like, oh, maybe it was me just getting up and sitting back down and vibrated off the table. I don't know. That's what I'm going with. But I could see the fear in her eyes that something wasn't normal. But regardless, I didn't think it was anything malicious, even if it was haunting. I know we're out of the October season, but, you know, Halloween wasn't that long ago. So I thought it was a really cool story to show, share with you guys. Uh, I enjoy that stuff. I truly hope I get to experience something haunted someday. That would be awesome. And as far as my drill weekend goes, it was an okay weekend. I mean, the unit got a lot of things accomplished, but if anybody has been part of a reserve unit, you know there's a lot of sitting around and BSing and just waiting for one person to do one thing or something like that. It's always something like that. It's always waiting for... Oh, admin crap, or paperwork, or computer classes that didn't get done while people were at home. So, I mean, like I said, it we got a lot of good stuff done. We got to shoot. I uh, qualified in my my pistol and my rifle quals. Uh, that was all good. The whole unit qualified in both. So, you know, good for us. But, you know, it's just sometimes it feels like these weekends are a waste. But you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? You gotta you gotta do what the army tells you. You sign the dang contract, you're locked in, and that's that. You sign up to do stupid stuff like that. It's just how it goes. Well I think I have a slow leak in my front tire of this little baby. So I'm gonna have to take her into the local motorcycle shop and have them patch it 
I would do it myself, but I really don't know how to do any of that stuff. Uh, eventually, I would plan on learning. It's just going to take me some time to learn to do all these things. I don't even have a bike stand, really. So I need to get one of those. Not an expensive one, just something, you know, nothing, nothing powered. Just man-powered, you know. I got to change my oil soon. It's coming up on its one year. That's coming up. I got all kinds of things going on with this little girl. I got to treat her good so she treats me good so she treats all of you guys good. It's a win-win-win as long as I do what I'm supposed to do. Nothing? No speed? Nope. Didn't catch me. If you pay attention enough, you'll notice my camera's just a teeny bit higher. Uh, all I did was I have a helmet mount for my GoPro and I just flipped the direction from... It was in the down way and now it's in the up way. So, I don't know what that's going to look like. I'm not exactly sure. I want to put one on the front of my helmet. And that's what I want my setup to be. And I had the right equipment, but... When I didn't put it on yet, now I don't know where it is. I, I've lost it, so I'm in the process of looking for it. In my previous videos, you've heard me talk about the bridge that was closed. Supposedly, it's... I'm not, I think it's open. I think it opened last Friday. So we're about to find out. I wonder if people think I'm an idiot because I'm riding my bike in this weather. I get my miles when I can get my miles. I really don't care. Let's see, it says road work ahead. There's an arrow sign pointing left. Um... It is... Still don't know. Still don't know. Oh, there's some people going straight. Oh, it is open. Success. Uh, you know, it's a really good thing for all those businesses down that way. Doesn't affect me any, but uh, I know those businesses are really hurting for their non-regular customers weren't really hitting that area. So this is good news for them. Hopefully they can build back up from what they've lost. I don't know if the city did any help for them or anything like that. It really looks nice. It's really coming together. Obviously they're going to clean it up a bit. But for now, it looks pretty good. This is the new bridge itself. Uh, it looks pretty similar to the old one, so there's not a really big difference there. But the good news is, is that it's open. It's open and ready. And it looks pretty busy down this way, so that's good. That is very good. I know there's a good little bar down this way, Mel's Bar. I like to go in there every now and then. Not my normal hangout spot, but I do like the place. You know, I am glad the city did their little renovation on that bridge. It wasn't little, it's huge. I'm glad they did that renovation, but I have to admit, there's a lot of other places that could have used a lot better repairs. I don't necessarily know like the, the details of why they chose that specific bridge to fix compared to some of the other places around here. But, and I know there was, there was city meetings. I could have went to them. I didn't. I'm not that involved in my city. Maybe I should be. Maybe if I get more YouTube famous, I'll uh, I'll be more involved in the city and what they have to offer. I've lived here my whole life, so I know what they have to offer. It just I don't know the little details. I don't know the government. I know who the mayor is. That's about it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Man, it's, uh, it's definitely that time of year to be putting on more cold weather gear. I have a secondary camera I'm going to be putting on. Uh, I've done it a couple times, I just didn't like the way it turned out. So I'm going to have to try a couple more setups. See where I want to put it. Get it just right. Because I have this little mount, but 
it's just too, it vibrates way too much for me to have any quality footage out of that camera. Unless, of course, I'm at a complete stop. Even then, it's still uh, pretty shaky from just the idle. But that is what it is. It was a cheap camera. I just threw it on just to put a different angle on. I'm not going to get all fancy with like 10 different cameras on my bike. That's too much. I don't have the money for that crap. In case you didn't know, the flags around here are down for the shooting in Texas. My heart goes out to them and their families and their loved ones. Man, it is really great to see kids out playing today. It's a cold day, but I mean, there are kids everywhere still playing outside. I love it. Get away from all those video games and all that other crap. Oh, this light doesn't change. Good. I'm willing to bet there's a bunch of people out at the skate park today. Surprisingly, yes, we do have a skate park. It's fairly small. But it gets the job done. It's better than kids being yelled at by grumpy people around here. I love it when the kids ride their skateboards down my sidewalk and in my, in my area. I just love it. Let's see, I think I can get through here. Oh my god, seriously? There is nobody at the skate park today. There's some football. I honestly thought I'd see kids out of the skate park today. Well, I'm about to wrap this one up, guys. I'm getting pretty dang cold in my hands, at least. my brother and his daughter. I think I scared her. <laughs> oh, that's not nice, but it sure is funny. Hey, well, anyway, thanks, guys, for tuning in on another episode of North Fork Vulcan Moto Vlogs in Nebraska. I want to thank all my sponsors, which are me, Myself and uh, uh, what was that other one? Me, yeah, that's right. Uh, they help me get through these motor vlogs and they support me in all my ways. So thank them, thanks for their support. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.